Hello everyone, welcome back to Byte Geek. If you're seeing error like your connection is not private in Chrome or any other browser and can't access a website, then this issue can happen for several reasons. One of the most common causes is that the website you're trying to visit doesn't have a valid or properly configured SSL certificate. If the error only appears on one specific website and all other websites open just fine, then the issue is likely on that website's end possibly due to an expired SSL certificate or a misconfigured server. SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer, and it's what ensures a secure encrypted connection between your browser and the website server. If you're sure the website is safe, you can click on the advanced option in your browser and choose to proceed to the site anyway. This will open the website without using HTTPS encryption. For demonstration purposes, I'm using a dummy website to show you the error and how to fix it. Alternatively, you can manually remove the HTTPS from the URL in the address bar. Just type the website address like this without the HTTPS and it might load. If that still doesn't work, try opening the site in an incognito window. To do this, click on free dot icon on your browser and select new incognito window. Then enter the website address there and check if it opens properly. Now, the next step is to clear your browsing data. Open Google Chrome and click on the free dot menu, also known as the hamburger menu. Then select history, or simply press Ctrl plus H on your keyboard. Next, click on delete browsing data, and then click on advanced tab. Make sure to check cookies and other site data and cached images and files, and uncheck the rest if not needed. After selecting these two options, click on delete data. This process may take a few moments as it removes all stored cookies and cache from your browser. Once done, reopen Google Chrome and check if the website is now accessible. If you're using Microsoft Edge, the process is very similar like Google Chrome. Click on the free dot menu, then click on history from the menu, then click on small recycle icon, select the time range, again check cookies and other site data and cached images and files and uncheck the rest and click clear now to remove cookies and cached files from Edge. Now, try visiting the website again to see if it loads properly. If the issue still not solved, then the next thing is to check your system's date and time settings. Make sure your computer is set to the correct time and date as incorrect system time can cause SSL certificate errors and prevent secure websites from loading. The next thing you can try is resetting your network adapter to do this, go to the Start menu, type Control Panel in the search bar, and open the Control Panel app. Once you're in, change the View By option to Large Icons so it's easier to find everything. Then, click on Network and Sharing Center. On the left side, you'll see the option Change Adapter Settings. Click on that, and you'll see a list of your network connections. This could be your Wi-Fi or Ethernet adapter, depending on what you're using. Right-click on your active network connection and select Disable. After a few seconds, right-click on it again and select Enable. This will refresh your network connection. Once it's back on, try opening the website again to see if the error is gone. If you're still getting the error, don't worry. Go back to the same adapter, right-click on it and choose Properties. In the list that appears, find Internet Protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4 and double click on it. Here, make sure that both obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically are selected. If these are already checked and you're still facing the problem, you can try setting a manual DNS. Just click on the option to manually enter DNS addresses and then type in Google's public DNS, that's 8.8.8.8 .8 and alternate DNS, type 8.8.4.4 Four, once done, click OK and then OK again to apply the changes. Now give it another try and see if the error is gone. These steps usually solve the issue, but if you're still facing it, there's one more method to try next. For this method, click on the Start menu and search for Control Panel. Then open the Control Panel app. Once it's open, change the View By option to Large Icons so you can see everything clearly. Now, click on Internet Options. In the Internet Properties window, go to the Connections tab and then click on LAN Settings. Make sure the box that says Automatically Detect Settings is checked. 
If there's a proxy server enabled, uncheck that option, then click OK to save the changes. Next, go to the Advanced tab and click on Restore Advanced Settings. After that, hit Apply and then OK. Once you've done this, restart your computer and check if the error is gone. If the issue is still there, let's try one more thing. Changing your network profile. Right click on the Wi-Fi icon in the system tray, then select Network and Internet Settings, then click on Ethernet if you are using Ethernet wired connection. From there, switch the network profile from public to private. Keep in mind, if you're using a public Wi-Fi connection, like at an airport or a coffee shop, it's best to leave it on public for security reasons. But if you're connected to your home Wi-Fi, then selecting private is usually the better option. Now check again to see if the problem has been resolved. In most cases, these steps should help fix the your connection is not private error on Google Chrome or any other browser you're using on Windows. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope one of these methods helped you fix the your connection is not private error on your browser. If it did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to ByteGeek, and hit the bell icon so, so you never miss out on new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.